On this week's show, we have author and empowerment coach, Venus Castleberg. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that fortune favors the bold. The truth is, most of us are afraid to take chances, even if we know it will be good for us long term. Our brain convinces us that the fear of the unknown is just too risky and scary to take a chance on. So oftentimes out of fear, we stay in our comfort zones because it feels familiar. So what ends up happening? We end up staying in the same place, sometimes our whole lives, never really evolving into who we could have been if only we had taken a chance on ourselves. The reality is we only have one life to live and the universe rewards those who are brave and take action despite fear or uncertainty. Take those risks, pick up that phone and make that call. Do whatever you know in your heart will benefit you long term. The reality is that even if you fail, you will have learned something valuable about yourself and have no regrets. Fortune favors the bold. The more you take chances and risks stepping out of your comfort zone, the more the universe rewards your boldness with opportunity. It might not happen overnight, but over time, the risks you took will unfold as opportunities, all the while also giving you a wealth of knowledge from the lessons you've learned along the way. As the saying goes, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've imagined. I want to talk about your book. I'm really excited about it. It's called Here to Forever, Finally Free to Be Me. It's a number one best-selling book. So let's talk about it. The title itself has such impact. So tell us about the symbolism behind the title. Well, Here to Forever was a title that I came up with before I wrote it. And it really, I knew that I had gone through some things to find myself. and. It wasn't until the book was totally complete that the finally free to be me came in because it was like, wow, I really am, all my secrets are in the book. <laughs> so there is no, I didn't hold anything back. So when I released it, there had this energy of, wow, I don't have to like pretend I'm perfect or I have it all together or my life is great. You know, I had a lot of struggles in my life. I have a lot of interesting secrets and now there's just this freedom to be me. There's no uh, filters anymore. <laughs> Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have author and empowerment coach Venus Castleberg. Venus will be discussing relationships, finding love, and her tools to step into your most authentic self to manifest abundance in every area of your life. Venus, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Well, thank you, Daryl. It's so great to be here. I'm great. <laughs> I'm excited to speak to you today. I mean, relationships, love, that's a topic that everybody wants to know about, and we're getting it from Venus, right? <laughs> Wasn't she the <laughs> goddess of love? <laughs> There is. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk a little bit about you. Um, you have a very interesting story. And Venus, prior to becoming an author and an empowerment coach, you were jumping from practice to practice, trying to find something to quote unquote fix you. That's what you referenced. So tell us about that time in your life and your quest to find purpose. Well, I definitely thought something was innately wrong with me. And when you think that you look for everything. So I looked for relationships, I looked for uh, modalities, I looked for like the right place to live. Like I was always looking for something that would make me feel like I wasn't broken. And it wasn't until I discovered access consciousness and no, I did not discover the tool that fixed me. I actually discovered a series of tools that helped me realize that I was never broken to begin with. And Venus, you're an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. So for our viewers that don't know what that is, tell us more. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a whole bunch of tools, but um, the tool that we start with is called the bars. And it's a 32 points on the head that really help you just get rid of the junk. My mom likes to call it a brain colonic. 
which is just about getting all the crap out of your brain so you can start to choose and create a life that works for you. And then a whole bunch of tools just to empower you to choose a life that works. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what you said earlier, um, you were looking for something to fix you. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that, you know, that they feel so it could be their career or maybe their career is good and it's love that they're missing. You know, there's always something that some yeah. sometimes people feel that they're looking for that extra thing. And for, you know, our viewers looking for to find love relationships, I feel like a lot of what we attract is what we believe we deserve. You know, mm -hmm. so as an empowerment coach, how do you help people kind of get rid of those limiting beliefs that's maybe blocking them from finding love? That's a great question. Yes, that's it. I know nobody wants to hear this, but it really does begin with you. Mm -hmm. And it's about finding things to be grateful for about you, finding a way to like yourself, love yourself first, and everybody else will be a bonus. And you can just start by finding okay what am i grateful for about me mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and i know that you offer quite a lot of services as well to help people find love find themselves so let's talk about the different services that you do offer well i do offer a bunch but the kind of the top two are probably empowerment sessions which are just empowering you to know what you know to create a life that works for you and of course being you in relationships i it's interesting how we cut ourselves off to try to find a relationship to get into a relationship and then once we're in a relationship we cut ourselves off to be in the relationship trying to hold on to that relationship what if you could actually be you be the contribution the gift all of you and still have an empowering beautiful relationship at the same time mm -hmm, absolutely and what do you find are the main blocks that people have when finding love because i feel like even if they love themselves um, maybe they're too much, maybe they're, you know, intimidating or they don't have enough confidence. What, what do you think are the main blocks that you hear from your clients that when they can't find love and how do you kind of help them? Well, the main blocks definitely stem from our, like you said, your point on um, our beliefs about ourselves. And if we think that we are not valuable, that we're not important, that that we have nothing to offer, then we tend to attract people that confirm that belief. Mm. So it's really important to change your point of view about yourself so that other people can see the brilliance of you, but you have to see it first. And I think that's very true. Life is a reflection of what's going on in our minds, right? So whatever we have in our minds is what reflects in the outside world. So I, I completely agree with you. When it comes to relationships, I definitely feel that you know, if we have subconsciously those feelings that we're not good enough or, you know, we don't deserve love. I think that's one of the common things, right? People feel mm -hmm. like they don't deserve love and then they yeah. never find it because or they find people that confirm that, as, as, as you said, you know, yeah. and, you know, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And for our singles looking to find love, what advice would you have for them? Because this pandemic has been quite hard to meet people, right? Because things are closed, you're not socializing as much. So how do you, how do you build meaningful uh, connections during this time? Well, pandemic or not, a great way to build meaningful relationships, and this could be your family, this could be your friends, this can be you know people you work with, is to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. And find things to be grateful for about people. We're so used to finding what's wrong, to looking for the judgment, to judge people in our lives, and that kills relationships. And so if we can cultivate gratitude for those people that are already in our lives, we also attract more of that, more of that laws of attraction you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, gratitude really is key, right? Because mm -hmm, you find yeah. that when you stop being, especially for everybody, that's not just for me, but when you stop being grateful for something, it stops coming in, right? Eventually, mm -hmm. and then you, yeah. and then you have to be grateful again for it to be attracted <laughs> again, right? So you might yeah. as well just be grateful for it to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, a little easier, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little easier, right? And you know, for our viewers that are in relationships. Um, what are three pieces of advice that you would have for them to, you know, continue to build that spark? Because sometimes, again, with the pandemic, it's been a little bit hard for people in relationships, right? Working together, working in the same space, being home all the time. So I know yeah. gratitude is one. So what other steps would you have for them? Yeah, and I'd like to elaborate on that one just a little bit because it's so easy for us to judge the sock on the floor. 
you know, we're taught to like somehow that's wrong. And, and being a woman and a man, we're wired differently. We actually see things differently. Men are very single focused and women are very diffused awareness. So women can see the sock on the floor, whereas a man can't see the sock on the floor because he's focused on the dishwasher that he wants to get fixed for you. Mm -hmm. So if we stop making our partners wrong for those little tiny things, like again, that judgment starts to kill and deteriorate things. It definitely stops the spark, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and. And if you can just be like, wow, I'm so grateful that he's focusing on the dishwasher right now, that gratitude will grow so much in your relationship. Absolutely. Nitpicking, right? That's going to yeah. destroy our relationships. It's annoying. Yeah. I know, but we all do it. But yeah, I, yeah. I think that's, that's great advice to kind of see the bigger picture and be grateful instead of looking at the things that can be changed. I want to talk about your book. I'm really excited about it. It's called Here to Forever, Finally Free to Be Me. It's a number one best-selling book. So let's talk about it. The title itself has such impact. So tell us about the symbolism behind the title. Well, Here to Forever was a title that I came up with before I wrote it. And it really, I knew that I had gone through some things to find myself. And it wasn't until the book was totally complete that the finally free to be me came in because it was like, wow, I really am, all my secrets are in the book. <laughs> so there is no, I didn't hold anything back. So when I released it, there had this energy of, wow, I don't have to like pretend I'm perfect or I have it all together or my life is great. You know, I had a lot of struggles in my life. I have a lot of interesting secrets and now there's just this freedom to be me. There's no uh, filters anymore. <laughs> yeah. And that's amazing. I mean, most people always, they want to get to that place, you know, but yeah, I, it's a process, right? What are some obstacles that you did face that you can kind of mention uh, for our viewers that are interested in the book that I'm sure people can relate to, you know? So what are some obstacles that you kind of faced that helped you learn more about yourself? Well, the, probably the main one was I, I, I dated around a lot, um, got married a couple of times, always looking for the one, um, only to find out in the end that I was always the one that I was looking for. But there were also other things in there too, like um, when I was 30, I became a clairvoyant medium overnight. And I didn't want to be seen as the crazy lady. And I, I kept it secret for a long time because I didn't want to be the weird one. So there's all these things that we've all gone through in our lives that actually help shape and make us who we are today, but they don't have to determine or dictate who we become. And in your book, you quote, if you're wondering if true love even exists, if you have been looking for the promise of forever with no idea how to find it, look no further. One choice can change your entire world. As the Chinese proverb says, the journey of a thousand miles starts beneath one's feet. So let's talk about that. What does that mean for you? Well, it, it, it really begins with you. It's, it's that over and over theme like we cannot find what will make us feel whole and complete outside of ourselves we have to find it within and if people could get just one thing out of this book it's that you are not broken and there's you never were <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and you know what I love about your story is that you didn't give up on love, you didn't give up on yourself, you just kept going. And you know, for our viewers that maybe are going through a hard time, maybe giving up on love, giving up on their careers, they're they're struggling to find themselves because that's really, you know, the main struggle most people have in life is finding their purpose, who they are, and what makes them happy. So what advice would you have for our viewers that are going through that dark period and, you know, don't see the light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> Well, first of all, I really truly believe that every choice creates awareness. So I don't believe in failure necessarily. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe that you learn from everything you go through. And I can just have everybody just think back, think back to something that didn't work out the way you wanted it to, whether it was a relationship that didn't work out or a job. Can you see now how it worked out in your favor? The universe is always conspiring for you, never against you, even when you can't see how. 
in those darkest moments, there really is something on the other side. So I just encourage people, just keep going. You will eventually see the light at the end of the tunnel, or you'll be able to look back and be like, oh yeah, I'm so glad that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Actually, that's actually my screensaver on my computer and my phone. It's the universe is conspiring to give you everything you want. I always remind myself, it's literally on my phone. So. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I remind myself, because even if things aren't working out, like in the moment, I see long-term, it does work out, right? Sometimes yeah. the you know, universe, God, whatever, protects you um, for maybe something that's going to be harmful for you long term. I, I want to talk a bit more about your services and how you can help people because you have so many different things on your website. Um, so let's talk about each one and what they do. Well, I do have quite a few things that I do. Uh, probably the number one is the empowerment sessions, and it's just helping you change anything that you want to change in your life by empowering you to know that you can do it and giving you the tools or helping you bring your own tools and your own gifts out. And then of course there's the being in relationships. <laughs> and I know a lot of us tend to cut ourselves off to try to find a relationship, to get into a relationship and then cut ourselves off in relationship even. And the key is that you can still be you, be the gift that you are and be in relationship. It can be an enhancement to your life, not something that makes you hide or cut yourself off. And I also do um, wealth creation oh. sessions and nice. yeah, <laughs> so uh, just lots of fun things, but all of the sessions are just geared for you to create a life that works for you. Relationships that work for you, businesses that work for you, money flows that work for you. What would you like to create? Mm -hmm. And what's something something small that our viewers can do to kind of uh, manifest, you know, love into their life, money? Is it an affirmation? Is it just changing, you know, your mindset a little bit that you're enough? Like, what what's one piece of advice that you would give? The the number one thing I give everybody is gratitude. It really is. It'll change everything. Like, you if you can be grateful for the money you do have in your bank, it will grow. If you can mm. be grateful for the relationships you do have, you will attract more. That gratitude is a magic gem. And if there was a magic pill, I'd say that's it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's very cohesive with your book. Everything is cohesive mm -hmm. with your messaging. I know that your book is also going to be on sale, right? So let's talk yes. a little bit about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Yes. Uh, in, because it's Valentine's Day and we, you know, are all looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> I really wanted to just encourage people, you know, if you want to get this book and you want some tools to maybe help you find your own, love yourself, find, find gratitude for yourself. I'm offering it for 99 cents. Oh, wow. Um, Kindle um, version this weekend. Yeah, we're going to link that information so our viewers can purchase it. And, you know, if there's one piece of advice that you would encourage people to buy this book, what would you say that, you know, one thing that they can really take away from this book? It, it really is that your past doesn't need to dictate your future or who you want to be. And I want to say one more. There's a couple of them, but like, you're just not broken. You would never were. Um, there's nothing needs to be fixed and you are a gift that nobody else is because you're you and there's nobody else on the planet like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's great advice. I also, in some of my intros, I always talk about that, that you are you and that is your power because no one else mm -hmm. is like you. You're the only person like you in this whole world and that makes you special and, and uncomparable to anybody just that yes. fact so i love that and for That's our viewers beautiful. yeah <laughs> it, it really does empower you when you believe that you know you're yeah. like i'm me and i don't need to compare myself to others that's a really great place to be in <laughs> yeah. and for our viewers that want to purchase your book or to find out more about your services where can they do so they can purchase the book on amazon and uh, it's on kindle and paperback and you can find more information on venuscastleberg.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Venus, for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure. Happy Valentine's Day in advance. And, you know, keep doing what, what you're doing because you're really helping people to 
you know, know that they're enough. And that's such an important message in itself. And I think more people need to hear that. <laughs> wow, thank you, Daryl. It's really been an honor to be here. And just thank you for the gift that you are in the world. Aww, thank you so much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. You can fly higher than